What's up, kings and queens? It's your girl, Ray T. And it's your boy, Coke. And we back and we back and we back, y'all, with another video on a gang. Gang? Yes. It's church. Church it's Sunday, church. man. I'm gonna take you out of church with us. Oh. Have a good, good Sunday worship. Show y'all how we worship in church. Give y'all a little word. I'm gonna take y'all to church with us. We got King Legend, King PJ with us. So you already know how we going. We going to church. Give God some praise. Give God some time. Amen. Amen. Y'all ready to go to church and get this word in? Yes. Y'all see the boys like, back there? Subscribe. Y'all see the boys back there? They think they fly. <laughs> hey. Go ahead, baby. Tell them. Don't forget to do what? What you say? Don't forget to do? Hit that post notification so when we drop, y'all will know. <laughs> hey, yay! Let's go praise God. Amen. Raise your hand, they're prophets. 
attention to it now. Yes, Lord. That's his voice. Yes. That's his face. Pay attention to it. Now. Look at it hard. Yes. Look at it hard. He said, I know, for I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Mm -hmm. For all you young people that are struggling to believe and everybody else, you older people, whatever, are struggling to believe, the Lord said, he declares it. Come on, believe it. Amen. That's all he wants you to do is believe it. Amen. For welfare and not for evil. Yes. He didn't bring you here to hurt you. Yes. Amen. He didn't bring you here to, to desert you. He never brought you here, amen, to show you off. Come on, tell God thank you. Thank you. Hallelujah. To give you a future yes. and hope. Listen. Proverbs 16 and 3. Commit your works to the Lord and your plans will be established. Yes. Hallelujah. See that? Commit it to the Lord, your works. Some of you all, God say, I, 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 you may not be working in the ministry, but you're working somebody's job. Come on, tell God, thank you. Thank you. And he say, I look at you and I gave you a job. I gave you, I gave you something to work with. Amen. Yes. Yes. But you're grumbling and you're complaining and you don't want to go. You you want this, but you don't want to do anything. You don't want to keep the children, your own children, some of you, God say. He say you don't want to be bothered, but God said all of that is in his plan. Amen. Come on, tell God, thank you. And see, God forgave all of us. He forgave a lot of us. Amen. That we 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 put in the picture and God blessed it. And, 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 and use it as something to work with. Come on, tell God, thank you. Thank you. God will take our mistakes and he will bless it. He will forgive it and he'll say, I can use that. Right. Thank you, Lord. Thank Come you. on, tell him thank you. Thank you, Lord. Come on, tell him thank you. Thank you, Lord. The heart of man's plan, plans his ways, but the Lord established his steps. Yes. Come on, thank now. you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. So if God pleads with your plan, he's going to establish it. Yes. And somebody say, I'm still trying to get this to work. And God say, that's not the plan. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Lord. I have another plan for you. That's why I hurt so bad. So if God's saying to, for you to, to get over being depressed about something and you still crying about it, but no, that's my cousin. If I let him go, that's my this. If I let him go and the Lord saying, let it go. I'm going to bless you. And you saying no, because then I'm going to remember them no more. That's not true. Amen. God trying to get you in a position so that you can live. Amen. Come on, tell God, thank you. Thank you. Come on, tell him, thank you. Thank you. Come on, tell God, thank you. Thank you. Come on, tell him, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. 
going to read one more scripture and I'm going on forward. Matthew 6, 33. But seek first the kingdom of heaven. Yeah. Did you hear that? Yeah. But you know what? A lot of us have fallen away from that. We got so traditional. We became powerful. We're so strong. And you know what hurt me the most, Pastor? What hurts me the most, and prophets and all y'all, it hurts me to see um, powerful prophets in their own strength. They, they, they can't smile. They, they like this. They're too strong. Come on, tell God, thank you. Thank they want you to go there, go away. Don't come to me, you know. And, and they don't have a love. They lost the now. love only because they was doing their own thank works. Yeah. Come on, tell God thank you. Thank you Come on, tell him thank you. Thank you Come on, tell him thank you. Thank you and they're afraid. They are afraid. You know, a lot of leaders are afraid because they get hurt. So they strengthen themselves, amen, and God wants you to. But God also wants you to look to him so that you can be strengthened through him. Come on, tell God thank you. Come on, tell him thank you. So he said it in his word. He said, but seek first the kingdom of heaven and his righteousness, and all these things will be added unto you. Now, are y'all ready? I just had to get my audience ready. Thank you. I'm not going to be saying praise the Lord and I'm going to fall out of the ground and y'all still stand in there. Come on, tell God. So let us all stand up again. Come on, y'all. To kick off your shoes. Relax your feet. Come on, tell God. This is, so un this is so strange, isn't it, y'all? It is so unreal. It's strange, isn't it? Now, kick off your shoes and relax your feet. Come on. You may have a loved one at home that you want God to do something for because it bothers you. Come on, tell God, thank you. Because it's bothering you. Come on, tell him thank you. Come on, tell him thank you. Now I want everybody in this room again. Amen. Put it on your mind. You know what you call your pastor about? All these things that's troubling you. Amen? Now you're going to put it on your mind and you're getting ready to walk away from it. Thank you, Jesus. I'm giving you a chance to look at it. Look at it. This is real, y'all. It's time for you to go forward. And, and, and guess what? Somebody will be sitting in your seat and need to be here. How many years you going to have to get a healing? How many years you got to be picked up off the floor? How many more years? Amen. God says it's time to come up. Come up means up here. Yeah. In your mental thoughts. Yeah. Come yeah. up. Yeah. Stop acting like a child. Yeah. Stop being so. You gotta, you gotta get mature. Yeah. Come on, tell God thank you. Yeah. 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 You got to turn around to your child and say, you will be alright. Yeah. 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 You ain't gonna be bringing your child to my help. Help. You. Something wrong with my child. Yes, Lord. Thank you. You will look at that child and say, you're going to be okay. Yeah. And you'll be able to lay your hands on your baby. And you ain't got to call nobody. And even if you come to the Bible, say call for the elders. Yeah. But how about some of y'all are already elders? Yeah. Come on, tell God, thank you. Thank you, Lord. Come on, tell God, thank you. Thank you, Lord. Come on, tell him, thank you. Thank you, Lord. That's how come. Thank you, Jesus. I just heard what you said. I won't forget it. You told me to say this. That's how come you become a rebellious to your leaders. See, there are leaders that, that 
get you ready to come out. Amen. And it can't go no farther. And you're right there waiting. You're right there waiting. I want to say like a baby with a head waiting, getting ready to come out for birth. But then it takes somebody else to come and say, give me the four steps. So God is pulling you. That's why it seems strange. And some of y'all prophets probably saying, what in the world? No, you did your job. You did something. And God pleased with you. He is so pleased with you. Come on, tell God. Thank you, God. Come on, tell God. Thank you, Lord. Come on, tell God. Thank you, Lord. I am a prophetess that come and get you out. And God approves it. Amen. Come Thank you, Lord. Lord. And he does it. Yeah. And he does it. Yes, yeah. Lord.
Spirit, God said, I'm going to bless you. This is a new beginning. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I, I, you know, it's almost like God washing your feet. Yes. Yes, Lord. He's really washing your feet. He yes. says, you know, you're tired. Yes, Come on, tell God. Thank you, Lord. And so he's washing all of that off your feet, the journey that you've been going, all that foolishness, yes. stepping into mess and getting into this and arguing with that and fighting yes. with this and worrying about that. God said, just come on. Yes, if you believe me, come on. Yes, and I'm going to show you. Hallelujah. I'm going to use the socks because the yes. fit brought the socks. Yes. Come on, tell them. Thank Thank you. God. Come on, tell them. Thank Thank God. God. I know y'all enjoyed that sermon. I know y'all enjoyed that word. I hope it touched somebody out there. I pray that that word reach far. Yeah. So whatever king and queen it may bless, I pray God sent his message to you. Look at the sermon word. today. Felt good. Felt good, y'all. Well, that's how we worship, y'all. Hey, that's how we worship, y'all. Remember, remember, Queen, fix your crown. You're beautiful inside and out. And even though the wind of the world on your shoulder, keep, keep it going. going.